Alright, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to change your DNS settings on your computer, on your network's router. These settings will make your router faster, safer, and a lot more secure. But first, before we, I get even more into detail on that, we've got to find out what your, what your network's default gateway is. To do this, go to the start menu. Now you'll notice I'm on a Windows based computer, but if you're on Mac, just go to your router manufacturer's website to find out what your default gateway is. But go to run and type in ipconfig and push enter. Now for some people, a box will come up, show you what you need, want to know, but then it'll disappear, like it just happened to me. To fix this, we're going to go back to start again and go to run, except this time in the run dialog box, we're going to type CMD. Now this time we press enter, the similar box to what we saw before is going to come up, except this time it's going to stay there. Now here we're going to type ipconfig again, and after a few quick seconds, the information we want to know comes on screen. Now I'm going to obviously um, censor out my IP address, but as you can see here, my default gateway is 192.168.11, as it is for most Linksys routers. So now we're going to go back into our default web, well, any web browser you actually want, and in the box, we are going to go, in the address bar, we're going to type our computer's default gateway without www or anything like that. And for some of you, you'll notice this password screen comes up. For most routers, you just leave username blank and type something like admin or something in the password box, or admin, administrator, whatever. If you don't know, you've got to look it up at your router manufacturer's website, something like linksys.com, netgear.com, something like that. And now we see our router's settings screen. Now, change, what you want to do is get to your static DNS and change it to what mine shows as here. Static DNS 1 should read 208.67.222.222, while static DNS 2 should read 208.67.220.220. Now, it may be different for your routers. So you're going to have to toggle through the settings. It's also good, would be good to have the latest, make sure you, your router has the latest firmware version. To do this, we got to go to our router manufacturer's website. For me, that'd be Linksys.com. Now we're going to click Downloads, and on the underside of your router, you will see a model number. You're going to need to know that, along with the version of the model. Now we type the model number into the model number box. A little, pretty self-explanatory, if you ask me. And we click Go. And the next screen you see will be um, downloads like firmware for our router. Well, after you select the version number. Now, if no firmware comes up, that will be because you have the latest firmware and no new firmware is available yet. But for other ones, it'll be up there and you can just download it as like a bin file or a self-extracting exe. It's very important that you maintain connection stability during an update like this, and that it's very, very important to do that. And now, if you want to make sure that everything worked and you typed in your DNS good and all that, what you can do is just go to your address bar and type in opendns.com. And let's give that a second to load up. And if you see this message right over here that says you're using OpenDNS, thanks, then you're all set to go. And you're getting really fast internet. Now this works by using cash, not money. It's using cash, so every time you go to a site, it's going to cache it into one of these giant servers of cash. And the more people, and you're generally going to be loaded from that cache. And since so many people use the service, millions upon millions, you're going to be getting lots of high speeds. I mean, and so the more people that use this, the more people, the faster your internet goes. It also has a phishing filter and all sorts of great features like that. Um, I highlighted the DNSs again in case you forgot. That's one and two respectively. But um, it also, 
this, if you want to make an account, that's good too, because this also has lots of cool features, like shortcuts. Like for me, if I type in simply just typing YouTube and push enter, I had it set so it'll go straight to my own YouTube account rather than just YouTube.com. It's a nice little keyword I set up. And that's pretty much all you need to know on doing that. I'm going to be making lots of more videos soon, like making your computer performance better, um, all sorts of great stuff like that, along with game video reviews and pretty much everything tech guy would like. So subscribe to my channel and you'll find out when it comes out first. See you guys.